Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Last episode was great. Uh, I made more progress last episode than I fully expected to, so I would suggest going to check it out. Uh, we've got some stuff to do, meaning uh, here, that we need to get done. Some, some typical, like, uh, what do you call it? Homework, I guess, is what we're looking at. Um, is Thief Man back yet? Hey, hey, Thief Man's back! God damn, man, this guy's been gone for a while. What's up, buddy? Oh, hello. You've come at a good time. Oh, it took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. So he went and stole, and uh, we get some good stuff out of it, hopefully. Uh, let's see what he picked up. Fully restores HP and elements, divine blessing. I don't know if this is all, like, new stuff. Priest chime, sacred chime for the casting of miracles of the gods. To cast a miracle, the caster learns a tale of the gods, says a prayer to be blessed by its revelations. The faith of the supplicant affects the strength of the miracle. Standard helm. Nothing crazy. What is this? Lightning urn. Dragon hunting tool used by Lothric knights. Explodes upon contact infl inflicting lightning damage. The knights of Lothric have since tamed dragons, but were once hunters of dragons themselves. This explains their special hunting gear and why they worship the sun. So, lore-wise, the, the weakness of dragons is lightning. It's how Gwyn was able to, with his soldiers and his, his knights, defeat the uh, defeat the dragons was through lightning. Um, Zweinhanda, the ultra great sword of the long blade wielded with two hands, yet still requiring great strength. Doesn't seem too much on there. Any, like, Lothric stuff in here? Uh, thief mask. No. Seal face, muffled voice, and go cover of darkness. Pontiff knight curved sword. Curved sword wielded by the Pontiff's knights, frigid spirits that linger in Irithil. The large blade appears to be eaten away by insects, making it lightweight but also brittle. Alright. Good to know. Estoc. Large thrusting sword is used for piercing through the armor of knights. Nothing particularly lore worthy there. He's got some embers. Uh, Alright. Hmm. Well, he's got some good armor, I guess, and that's probably what's worth it, just like knight stuff. But I'm wearing knight armor anyway, so it's not a huge deal. The assassin stuff, useful. Thief stuff, also useful. But, let's talk. You can keep the ring. As... <laughs> Alright. Nothing special there. Goodbye. And stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. How you doing, girl? His body's still there, huh? Speak, I deserve honorable. Let's see if you got anything new to say. Nope. And doesn't look like you have anything new, so that's fine. Though I'd love to like use this. What does it require? Dark hand. E E C C. Yeah, I don't have good intelligence or faith. I mean, I could respec. I, I hear there is a way to respec in the game, though I don't know exactly how how you go about doing it. I'm sure there is a way. Pyromancer, how you doing, boo? Ah, there you are, unkindled. I am pleased. <laughs> yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I am your tutor a little longer. <laughs> If you seek pyromancy tomes, take this sage advice. The lands of the Lords converge upon Luthric. The home of pyromancy's drifts comparatively close as well. At least, that is what pyromancers of the Great Swamp believe. The place is called Isolith. Oh, how I wish to behold a primal pyromancy. Well, these are old tales. No one knows where the truth begins or ends. <laughs> Much like how time and all that stuff if works. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at what he's got. Um, ooh, he's got some pyromancer garb. Um, 
Nothing else, but we can take a look at his pyromancies and see what he's got. Profuse sweat. Uh, advanced pyromancy that internalizes flame associated with Carmina. Profuse sweating temporarily boosts resistance to bleeding, poison, frost, and curses. Uh, internalized flame likely forming the foundation for many subsequent spells. Flash sweat. Interesting. Bursting fireball. Uh, a rare technique that undergoes change after leaving the caster's hand, making the spell renowned for its difficulty. Pyromancy of Old Restored by Cornix. One of the Great Swamp's more advanced spells. Pyromancy which improves combustion. Pyromancy is at once no fear and longing, the resultant power of which depends on both the caster's intelligence and faith. Things that I'll never do, un unfortunately. I may do like a, a separate build. Maybe maybe I'll do a second playthrough. I don't know if I'll do that on camera or not. But I think like a pyromancy or a faith build, all that could be really, really fun. Let's uh let's see. Reinforce. I don't think I have more than just that one. Uh a lot Estus, no. We can infuse our weapons, maybe. We wanna infuse this with magic, which would bring Oh man, no, we don't want to infuse it with magic. I don't really want to infuse it with anything, apparently. Like, this will... Bring this... Ah, uh, yeah, we don't want to do any of that. We will reinforce, however. I think that's fine. We use it enough. Alright, well, we need more... Oh, we need large Titanite Shards now. We could also go ahead and start reinforcing this. Why don't we uh, infuse? I like that weapon. I do want to use it. I keep saying it. It just looks cool. Um, where'd it go? Where are you? I've lost it completely. Can I not infuse it, maybe? Ooh, notched whip. Whip for thorny spikes that shred skin, causing heavy bleeding. The, clean the cleansing chapel uses whips such as these in order to produce the drops and puddles to wipe cleaning during its rituals. All right, good to know. Um, I don't see it in here, so maybe I can't. If you see it and I don't, I'm sorry. Pretty be careful. Well, the other thing we can do is also use this great soul that we have uh, and see what kind of items we can get out of it for defeating the Crystal Sage. There's still another Crystal Sage. Remember, they're supposed to be twins, so only one started serving the Lords of uh, Farron or whatever. Aha, thou art the soul. Uh, begin transposition. Crystal Sages. Okay, let's uh, take a look here. What is this? Demon Fist. What is this from? A demonic fist that burns with fiery essence. Its wielder can release its power through use of its skill. When two-handed fists are equipped to each hand. But what's this from? We've got a spell, Crystal Hail. Unique sorcery developed by extraordinary preacher twins known as the Crystal Sages. Casts a cascade of small crystal soul masses from above. Crystal soul masses have piercing qualities. In, an, in a pact said to have been formed long ago, one of the sages allied with the Undead Legion in order to train the sorcerers of Farron. So one of the sages came here to train sorcerers under Farron's Undead Legion. Interesting. A uh, thrusting sword of tiny crystals scattered across its blade used by the crystal sages for self-defense. The crystals boost the magic damage inflicted by the sword and the item and the item discovery of its wielder. Fruits of a lifetime of research conducted by sages. So I can find items with this thing? The crystals boost magic damage inflicted by the sword and the item discovery of its wielder. That could be neat. Where is the soul of a demon? I don't have a demon soul. Why is it showing me this? Uh, the demons born of chaos harbor fire, and yet they are twisted and malformed, such that they were never meant to be. The great acts of favorite among demons. Oh, maybe it's because I fought that demon before? Well, I'm going to take the sword, because that's better for me than the spell, clearly, so... And it's just neat. I don't think it's going to be any... Don't... I don't think it's going to be any better than what I have. If I equip it... Where is it? There it is. Well, a fat roll. No. Interesting. We can use this a little bit. See how this works. I like it. It's ah, dex based. Maybe we will infuse the weapon. 
And by infuse, I mean not infuse the weapon. Maybe we will reinforce the weapon. Um, what do we need? Just souls to do that? Nope, I needed Titanite scale to do that. Ho oh, ho ho, I did not look at that. And a Titanite scale on that. Pretty be careful. Sure, man. I'll do it. I'll try it out. Look at me, I don't give a shit. I assume this is like It's Dex and Intel it's intelligence based too, which is unfortunate. Welcome home, speak. Uh, let's go ahead and level up. Then touch taken. We definitely want to pop our vigor. Wow, it's costing us a lot to level now. We'll pop our intelligence up one, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I don't know if I want to use this weapon, but... We can kind of parry with it. Damn, looks cool. Well, we'll try it out. And we need to head back to uh, Old Wolf of Farron. No, we're gonna head back to Keep Ruins, I think, is where we wanna go. All right. Well, long loading time, it's fine. Yeah, we'll try this thing out. I mean, it's not gonna be great, but I, I, it's gonna help out, I think, with uh, finding stuff. Excuse me? Stay there, thank you. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe we need to go back. Maybe we need to go back. Let's, 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 let's go back a bit to Farron Keep and travel out from here. Okay, Maya, are you around? I don't want to roll over your toesies by pushing my chair forward. Right, I'm willing to give this thing a shot, see what this is all about. Um, I, I, I'm excited to try it, but not on, not on slug monsters. Oh, well, maybe this slug monster. I don't know. Oh, why'd you just fully disappear? My Uchi Katana, I immediately just go back to it because I'm a piece of trash. Oh, there was that big fucking wolf thing I wanted to try and fight. That's right. I kind of want to try it, man. Getting myself out of my comfort Mad Dark Spirit Hollow Soldier. All right, well, not while we're being invaded by Mad Dark Spirit Hollow. Yeah, here he comes. Hey, buddy. I don't know if this is like an actual player or not. I'm gonna put some bleeding on you, buddy. Can you stop doing that? You can just leave, man. Oh, hey, because of uh, my my um because of my covenant, he's I, I'm getting I'm getting help. Huh? Mound Maker Invader? Come on, buddy! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, pressing your advantage when you can. There he is. Yeah, now you're fucked. Man, this guy is all business right now. Come on, no, get out. Okay. This is definitely a player, like... Oh. 
See ya. <sighs> Let's give him a cheer. Thank God, man. Okay, so that was a player, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the way he was playing was like, he was playing really smart. He was running back, he was dealing with like, trying to get uh, us aggroed on, on other NPCs, and it was just, it was going well for him for the most part. Um, so it worked out. I don't know if this is what I want. Yeah, this is fine. I think this ring, ring, ring loadout is good. Still, that was a that was that was a hell of a fight. Good fight, dude. Good fight. I got that cracked vertebra off of you though for you being part of the mound makers and dying, which I appreciate. All right. I had to switch to my Uchi Katana, man. Like fighting fighting another player without the Uchi Katana, which is like my most leveled up weapon. Not great. Not great for me at least. This guy's got to get dead. Okay. Can you not break my neck? I'm dead. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Okay. Down more, please. Oh, no. Fuck you, man. Okay, you're just jumping around. It's kind of insane. Nope. I don't like you at all. Oh, come on. Thank you for dying. Be wary of stabbing in the back. Try beating to a pulp. So this is the guy who leaves the left the message? Alright. Titanite shard works for me. Let's keep moving. That was just straight up horrifying. Let's try not to get poisoned again, shall we? I mean, we have poison resistance ring on, but it doesn't seem to be working out very well. Try fire. We're back up here. Be wary of right. Okay, let's just do, oh, nope. I wanna try this. Quick strikes. Let's see how this thing works. I know it's damage scales with intelligence, but I'm okay with that. This is a dead end, isn't it? Where's the other pillar of fire? Why am I ember? Oh, I'm embered because I fought the boss. Forgot about that. Um, there's got to be another fire somewhere. Not necessarily around here, but it's in the swamp. I don't think I've gone up there. So we'll go up here. Careful. Yep, come on. I heard you walking. I'm glad I did. Come on. No. No. Back up. This is awful. Come on. Back out. Okay, we're gonna try this thing. I'm telling you, man. Does good damage with a backstab. Then again, I'm two-handing it. So that could be it. Guru Rot Shield. Hey, we got an item. Finally, from an, from an enemy. Is it a good item? Probably not, but we get some learning. A rotted makeshift shield scavenged by the forest-dwelling Grus. 
Barely effective as a shield, however, its rotten state has made it poisonous and resistance to other poisons as a result. That's always good to know. Poison resistance. So we took out two there, feeling pretty good about that. You're just napping, man. You have no fucking idea what's about to fucking befall you here. I'm, I don't know why it wasn't locked on. Still not locked on. For whatever reason. He is poisoning the hell out of me, however. Extinguish three flames, open the door to wolf's blood. Wait. Did I loop around in some way? Isn't that what, something I knew? I might have looped around somehow. There's gotta be a fire somewhere missing. Huh? No, you stay there, slime slugs. Looks like there's an item up there. Ooh. But I'm getting glorped on. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Nothing I can do. I'm a little nervous. I don't like being in the mud. The slowdown is bad if I have to fight something. Okay. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Purple moss clump. Let's just put the purple moss clumps on. Because it should cure poison. Now, I heard grunting. Yo, there's that giant fucking... Oh, there's one right there, too. Jesus, man. Push through. Push through. What? Oh, shit. I don't like this. Okay. Ooh, great sword. The ultra great sword with its thick blade is one of the heaviest of its kind, highly destructive if unto intolerably heavy. There would appear to be some credence to the rumors that this sword tested the true limits of human strength. Unless, of course, your cloud. Can't break that. Don't fall. Okay. Well, of course, I'd like to go fight those gigantic wolf monster things, but I don't really want to fight in, like, the sludge. Ah, fucker. Come on. Okay. All right, this is where I was. Okay. Hmm. Which way? I have tended to put something on that's gonna give me poison resist. Oh, you're effing shitting me with these things. Nope. That's a big old negative, sir. Damn it. Let's heal up. Something died, and I got souls from it. I don't know how. That happens a lot, I find, I find in this game. Maybe just in Souls games in general. A lot of death, you don't know how it happens, and then... You just kind of accept the souls that get given to you. I wish the poison would go down faster, man. Okay. Man. Why would I not just stick with my Uchi Katana? Every time I'm like, I'm gonna try something new, I find reasons to just not try something new. There's fire over there. It's a wolf man right the fuck there. I literally can't run, it won't let me. I 
Is this the building I came from? I think this is where, uh, up there is that giant demon. Which actually, I'd like to fight. So, I happily will. This pale again? Alright. Nope, maybe not. Nope, this is where I came from. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna rest. Maybe we'll just explore. I feel like I'm just going backwards and I shouldn't be, but I don't care. All right, I accept my poison fate at this point. The game wants me to be poisoned. That's fine. Yo, oh fuck, basilisks. No. No, 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 no curse. No, we gotta go. We gotta go. Those guys will curse you, which will fuck you until you get rid of it. Run. Move. I'd rather be poisoned than cursed. So the curse will like, slowly dwindle, like have your max health or some shit. Fuck. Get out. Don't put yourself in a corner like I just did. I think they're stuck on a rock. And it looks like there's a fucking huge one over there. Also, something else. Exploration, friends. Sometimes it pays. Sometimes. Really? Yellowfinger Hazel again? Are you fucking serious? I fought you once already, girl. Hey, come on! I fought you a war- oh, God damn it. If you wanna fight me, you gotta come up here. I know you wanna experiment with your weird magics and shit, but... Oh God, you're pick of... Death. No. Oh. Why don't we do this? Ow. Don't you dare drink. How about you just get poisoned? Oh my god. You're annoying. You tried. God damn it. I wish my covenant will come save me now. You're, why am I, is my wind up as bad as yours? Nope. I'd rather do that a bunch. Come on. Come on, one more. No. Nope. You have no more health, do you? Thank you. <sighs> well, I get invaded now. I'll be mad. How many times do I have to kill you? God damn. Hey. Hey, boo. What you thinking about? Nope, it's one of you. I didn't realize it was one of you. Drink. Oh my god. I did not realize it was <laughs> the jumping, the jumpy dude. You're just sitting here looking at this thing. Okay. Neat. Oh no. Homeward bone. Thank you. Could use that actually, very shortly maybe. I don't want to fight. Uh, what's this? Oh, I found the last one. Sweet!
I may say so, there was a lot of swords there. A lot of swords in that door. Oh, I came the back way. I prefer the back door. I mean, I don't prefer, I mean, it's, you know, front door, back door, it's all, I mean, it's all good. Your own preference, I don't, I don't prefer uh, any of that stuff, man. You do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? All right. There's lots of items up there, so there's gotta be a way up. First of all, let's just get through this aspect. Yep. Happily just destroy you before I have to worry about anything. Thank you. F that. So yeah, curse, it just lowers your maximum health and you have to like get it magically removed. It's, you need a particular item to get rid of it. It's awful. Now I saw, I saw something glimmering somewhere, which is just a, a way to get me to move my ass in a particular direction, flash items in front of me and I'll, I'll do it. Okay. There it is. It's over there. Nope. Get me out. That's the curse right there. Fuck. Get out. Ugh, these things are so fucking scary because of it. And then they go sit in their damn curse. Like they bathe in that shit. No secrets. Okay. Nope. All new players, I feel for you, man, if you get hit by this. Treasure ahead, try dash. Oh. Oh, there is something over there. Repair powder. Treasure ahead. Two treasure aheads. Can't be a lie. Great. Golden scroll. In a giant cave with a phallic-shaped mushroom. <gasps> Can I talk to you? Yo, this is like a mushroom from that old... That, uh, oh, God. What was that area from before? Okay, it wasn't a mimic. Antiquated dress, gloves, and skirt. You could talk to him. I forget. A dark, a dark root garden. Dark root garden. And in Dark Souls 1, there was like a mushroom you could talk to. Can't hit him now. Okay, hold up. That's awesome. Dress sewn in a long fashion, uh, lost fashion. The elaborately embroidered ivory colored silk is imbued with ancient magic power. No protection is offered by this garment as it was never intended for battle. Is this supposed to be... Who? There's, there's got to be something I'm missing about this. Did this belong to the lady you talked to in Darkroot Garden? Look at it, she's bent over like talking to this thing. Oh, it's been so long since I've played. I'm forgetting the, the story a little bit of uh, Darkroot. Nothing here. I might want a homeward bone out of here, to be honest. Still, though. That is straight up story. That is story right there. Hey, guys. I know this is a little out of the ordinary for me to pause a video and kind of do post commentary on something that I found. But I wanted to make sure that what I was speculating about was either correct or if I was wrong to tell you what I was wrong about. However, in researching Dark Souls 1 again and, and kind of relearning some of the aspects of the game that I forgot about, I am correct in speculating, or at least it's implied that I'm correct in speculating that this is the clothing that possibly belonged to the girl that you rescue in Dark Root Basin. The girl who's trapped in a crystal golem behind the hydra in that lake that you then rescue and she helps you out. Her name is Dusk of Ulasil. Now, more importantly, this particular garment that I just got in Dark Souls 3 and also, you know, belongs in Dark Souls 1, belongs to Ulasil royalty and her name is also known as Princess Dusk. This goes hand in hand when also finding that scroll that talks about Ulasil miracles and, and magic. Uh, so, finding that 
that and then finding the clothing within this deep cave that is near this mushroom that you saw in Dark Souls 1 kind of heavily implies that this this body uh, once belonged to the girl known as Dusk of Ulisil, meaning maybe she died in Darkroot Basin at some point. I mean, you would expect her to die. Either way, it's a cool tie-in. It seems like Dark Souls is really trying to tie in uh, the older games with this game and really kind of create this complete story. Uh, so if you want to know more about it, I would suggest looking up uh, or playing Dark Souls 1. It's still a fantastic game. But enough of my talking. Back to the video. Right there. Darkroot Garden. Oh, man. I'm going to have to look that up. I forget. I absolutely 100% forget. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's homeward bone. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna go to a bonfire. And I'm gonna teleport near where that thing is. And we're gonna go through that door and see if there's a fucking boss fight or what waiting for us. Okay, travel. Keep ruins. Who is that supposed to be? Man, God, Darkroot Garden. I feel like it's supposed to be the girl that you meet there that gets you into the abyss. Or helps you get into the abyss. I could be very, very wrong, however. Alright, well, let's see what's in here. We're about to find out. I'm a little nervous about it, but we'll see. We have 22,000 souls, so fighting a boss right now could be a huge mistake. But we'll at least go in and see what's going on. Look at all these swords. Holy crap. There's somebody over there. I'm there. I can't lock on from here. Those uh, weird bird creatures out there. I see them. She's like conducting? And they're all worshipping. Like, she's like talking. Okay. They are not attacking, but we can get a good look at them. They are like part bird, part man. And uh, whatever she was talking about ain't happening anymore. But they're still curiously worshipping where she was. Hmm. Stealth required ahead. Okay. Well, is this... The fuck? Oh, it's those things. Are these guys the Undead Legion? Like, are these guys Farron's Undead Legion? And they're just murdering all the crows. The crow people. Which is strange. There's a bonfire. Try Prudence. Illusion. What? I wonder if those guys, those knights, are part of Farron's Undead Legion. Like, that that makes sense-ish, maybe? But we got a bonfire. We in the bonfire, boo. We in. Before we, before we disappear for the day... Just want to check out and see what they're doing. This does look like Darkroot Garden, doesn't it now? Now that we're out of the swamp area? Oh shit. Nope. Did they kill your friends, man. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me about it, though. It's not my problem. Nice 
nice. An ember. Yeah, everything here in this area is all beast men. Like, oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off, man. God. They don't get staggered, like, nearly as easily. Okay, we're fine. What if these guys are? Ah. Please don't tell me the other one's coming. I'm not ready. The cracked red eye orb. I took your brother out. I'm willing to fight you. Maybe after they murder your ass. Oh, did they get him? Shit, they might have actually killed him. Come on. It's not doing shit, man. Wolf's uh, blood. Yup, yup, yup. Dark. Ooh. Dark sword, dark mask. Now I gotta know. Pitch black straight sword of the dark wraith. Survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. The dark wraiths were the first red eye orb invaders and originators of a unique sword technique inspired by their thick, broad blades. Use one's weight. Okay. Dark mask. Bone mask of the dark wraiths. Relics of a small country that fell to the dark long ago. Looks as if it may crumble to dust at any moment. Dark wraiths were the oldest of the red eye invaders. Okay. Yo, hold up. Can I just say it sounds like there's fighting happening in here and that scares the shit out of me? Oh, fuck. Who needs 24 7, 24,000 souls? Help me. Hello? Yikes! Yo, you're one of the Lords of Cinder, actually. Which one are you? I remember seeing you come out of your grave. <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore. Abyss Watchers. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why there are many of you. Because it's supposed to be... No, oh, Jesus. No. Okay, ow. Okay. I don't want to fight him right now. I really don't. I wasn't ready. Okay. I think I saw somebody get up. Yep. Okay, we gotta get out. One has regular health. The other does not. Ah, oh, fuck off, man. So you're just endlessly dying and un being reborn? Well, you keep fighting each other over there. It's working. Try to backstab it. It was actually gonna be a backstab too. Holy shit. Mm. Nope. No. Nope. 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 Thank god I took this 100% physical shield in. Fuck. Oh, the red guy's coming back. Oh god, the red eye guy. Fucking hell! Yeah, 
you just do that. Okay. <sighs> I can't, I can't do anything. I'm against the wall. No, come on, gotta roll. I'm so dead. Thank you, Red Eye Guy, for coming back. Okay. I get the fight. Like, I understand I get one helper. But I'm going to die. Did he die? Oh, he did it. Thank God. God damn it. I don't have any more Estus. I'm not ready for this. I can't. I gotta flawless this fight. I'm not gonna be able to. The music is just sad. Endlessly having to kill yourself. Oh, hey, there's the flame. Oh, hey, Lord of Cinder. How's it going, buddy? Should have expected it. Well, we at least learned what phase one was all about, because I think we're about to get our ass kicked in phase two. Hey, bud, listen, man. There's nothing against you. At all. At all. Woohoo! That's pretty as fuck, though. I gotta get the fuck out of Dodge. Okay, yep, that's fine. Maybe you should put on a fire resistance ring for this fight next time. Okay, he swings with his dagger. That's where he gets like a stun. No, nope, I'm dead. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Holy balls. He is difficult, but. That's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, come back next time for some more Dark Souls 3 and consider dropping a like. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.